we're doing a training exercise involving a suspect package. The fire department has called us out and EOD has responded because there's an explosive hazard. We, we respond to the explosive hazard while the fire department obviously takes uh, like the, the fire part of it. Uh, so we have to clear it so they could do their job. This is our their older, older generation robot called the F6A. It weighs somewhere around 360 pounds. It has a manipulator arm that can do some obvious manual disruption, but it also has uh, what we call a percussion actuated neutralizer um, attached to it that, that basically performs the same duties as like a shotgun to disrupt packages as well. Uh, right now it also has a JCAD chemical agent detector attached to it and uh, we can also attach radiation detection equipment on it as well to give us an idea what's going on down there without putting bodies in harm's way. We have a lot of different mission sets with a lot of different responsibilities. We have to practice all these individual skills very, very often and the more realistic the training becomes, um, the more accurate our, and more effective our training is. One of the things that, that makes it interesting being a reserve EOD technician is that not only do we train in a very compressed, very condensed, very concentrated way, we also bring outside skills that you wouldn't normally have. We have guys that are good in like woodwork, we have guys that are good mechanically that you wouldn't always have from pure military training. So we try to bring those characteristics out and use them to enhance our capabilities.